It is quite the disaster zone in here, I'm not going to lie. It's absolute carnage because I'm sort of right in the middle. It has been exciting. This is the first couple of weeks I've bloody enjoyed. Um, it has been a couple of weeks since the last time I checked in on YouTube because there's been, when I say there's been so much happening, there has, but then there's days where I've literally just sat in my ass and done absolutely nothing. So today was sort of one of those days as well because the website is getting built. I'm sort of doing it myself. My sister's helped a tiny little bit. She's gonna hopefully write some of the, you know, the wording, the copy as it's called in the industry bash. Um, I did send my first cut the other day through Royal Mail, which um, obviously has a little bit of a story to it. So I went down to the local news agent. She was like, you're starting your own business. I was like, yes, this is my first one I'm sending through the mail, the, the post, because um, obviously it has Kenny's name on and Kenny was the guy, the legend, the man, the legend who helped me out with all those graphics, all those little, you know, designing and just making it digital, making it look cool, adding things, telling me that shit, redesign it, and literally like being an integral part at the beginning to brand the whole business. Um, so I absolutely love that was back when I was in the flat, and that seems like so long ago. But um, I sent it, obviously I want to send all my things recorded first class before 1pm. Delivery, so it's signed for, it's the best you can get and it's fast. Um, so I sent this thing and I was like, all right, spot on. She was like, oh, blah, blah, blah. It was the first time. So we had a bit of a chat and of course, obviously about how um, she was like, how, how to post it, what's the different, you know, price levels just for, you know, national um, in the UK postage. Anyway, I got told and she was like, what is it? And I told her about obviously the cup and the cigarette in the morning after the night before story. Very, very condensed because I wanted, oh, I didn't want to like, you know, be one person in the post office queue to just talk. So I kept it quite, you know, um, kept it quite short, but it got sent. Recorded delivery before one. This is on the Monday. I was like, Kenny's going to get it on the Tuesday. So obviously I was having a look at the tracking, like where it was, obviously left my hometown on the way down to London and it completely disappeared. And I was like, that is just a classic, like the first thing I ever sent through, especially the important one I chose for Kenny with just a single match stubbed out on the side. I was like, any graphic designer is going to love this because it's minimal, it does what it says and it's got all the stuff, it's got the napkin, it's got the matchbook, really, really nicely packaged. And I actually did watch a YouTube video to how to like, because I've been wrapping them and they've been okay, but I was like, I need to up the wrapping skills because this is like a high end, obviously very cool, very posh, sexy thing. I said, can't normally wrap it as I normally do. So I did watch a couple of YouTubes and really, really practice my skill in wrapping. And I think I'm definitely getting better. Kenny's looked like very, very, it's all about the lines. It's all about the form of the crispness of the edges, which it did actually work. It was really, really good. Um, and it looked class. And I was like, right, it's disappeared. Someone's obviously thought that looks a little bit tasty. I'm having it, um, but it was tracked. And then it disappeared for literally 12 hours, 12, 24 hours. Didn't reappear until it should have got there before one on the Tuesday. Didn't reappear until I think the Wednesday morning. And I was like, right, thankfully it's back on the system and it got delivered. So it wasn't before 1 p.m. I don't know why, I've got no idea, but it got there in the end. That's the most important bit. Didn't tell Kenny at all got his um, office uh, address from his pal and literally so just turned up and I had like obviously um, just a cool out of boxing. I think if you remember that first one, what I give my dad, but even his now obviously is gold on, uh, but Kenny's was the first proper person sent for, the, um, sent for the, the post with the gold, with everything included, which with the matchbooks, perfectly wrapped and it looked absolutely fucking cool and literally sent us a text and I, I've still not spoken to him yet because he's been super busy and he just said very very impressed and I was like from Kenny that actually means a lot especially like Kenny's whole you know everything basically so if he likes it I'm like right I've done a really really good job he said that he's going to win me the next couple of years so I'm excited to actually get his experience see if he like got the narrative of what obviously it was all about in the box and see what the craft was but yeah very, very proud of sent the first thing and thankfully it did actually get there in the end. So tonight, I'm literally recording this, I've had one of those days where I've sort of done bugger all. I've, all I've done is saw my mate, um, met him for some lunch and I've washed the car. 
So basically it's one of those but I'm tracing up cool hotels, I'm tracing up cool country manors and like place. This one in particular um, is really really nice and it's like sort of northeast based so it's like quite easy for me to get to and get a couple of people too and it's like a grand country house and I'm like please fingers crossed this bedroom scenario everything like the grounds really really cool I love it I really want to shoot there and hopefully the guy's gonna message he didn't today I thought it would be today hopefully it's tomorrow if not I'm gonna send him a message in the afternoon because if you don't you know keep on going it never happens it gets put at the bottom of the pile blah 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 so I'm hoping that's gonna go through but it, I've already had a few no's from busier hotels of just people who can't be asked of like oh, they don't know what the shoot is blah 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 I really wanted to show you a cup and it's in white but I don't think there's one over here. I don't know what it's got on. Yeah, this one's quite cool, but I think this is down here because it didn't get the gold on because it wasn't up to scratch. But you can see there is the logo, everything worked, the firing went bloody amazing. So I thank my lucky stars and the kiln gods themselves. Um, but yeah, if that's gonna focus, I'll leave it there for a while. But that's sort of what I think I'm gonna go on for the bottom. So it's got the brand, the roll and the stone, made in England. It looks perfect. It looks amazing the cup has that as well but this one it sort of didn't go into the crack of where the espresso cup sits so this is like i don't know what i want to do with these because these are sort of imperfect but still you know quite cool i want to keep them i want to have them just as stock as i use take photos of always good for a flat lay but obviously this one's just got that few imperfections where it's not good enough to sell but that's the standard we're at so i've got these back the spoons with the platinum on look absolutely amazing. The gold looks amazing. It was like everything worked. The red has even come out. So the red previously before it was not very good. That was down to the make. I was actually buying, I went for a more expensive brand and it's worked perfectly well and it looks very vibrant, very cool. Um, but yeah, I'm on my way to go to Andrews, which is one of the potential models. Hopefully you'll say yes. Catch up, not saying them in ages. We were supposed to meet in the pub it was horrible, horrible rain on Monday. So I was like, right, it's Thursday today. And I was like, right, come to yours. I'm gonna take him a cup. So I wanna wrap a little cup up now for him because he has no idea at all what I've done. I just said, can I get you for a project? He's probably thinking it's a videography project because I've used him before in the past. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna be like, I'm just gonna not say anything and just see what he thinks of like, because he doesn't even know what's in the box. I'm just gonna be like, please give me your impressions on this. So I get like first hand. I can see what it's going through his mind, like what is it, what could it be in the box? So everything from the start, I've got really dry hands, I've just realised, and I haven't been on the, you know, the wheel for a while, but I need to get back to that. But yeah, it's a good YouTube, it's basically like, I wanted to come back, I wanted to see all this stuff, because it's been exciting, but it's also been very boring, this is probably the least I've worked in, you know, the past four months or something, it's just been like, I've had time to like just sit down and do bugger all. You know what I mean? I don't want to do that. I want to concentrate on the website, but I know I do so much because it is, it's not tremendously hard, but it is harder than I thought. But if you want to have a tiny, tiny, sneaky little peek, here it is here. I'll hopefully be able to show you this on the side. So all I've got at the minute, I've got a little navigation bar. I've got a cool sort of like, when you come to the site, if you've not got the password, which was a legend, I can tell you that now, obviously of course it was. I keep on telling my pass, I'm like, look, go in, tell us what you think. Password is a legend, capital L. Um, so yeah, that's on there, but you go in, so you obviously you see this is first, if you've not got the password, that's it. That's the landing page, as it were. So you've got the logo, you've got Rolling the Stone coming soon, and then there's an email to sign up, talk. What does it say? Talk, let, let us talk dirty with you. So I want it sexy, I want it raunchy, I want it cool. Everything's gonna be like that, hopefully. But I need some really cool words, copy, and I'm sort of good at that, but not very good, like, believe it or not. Believe it or not. I can speak it, but I can't write it down. I find it harder to write it down. So basically, working on that, it's gonna take a little longer than I first anticipated. I'm not gonna lie, it is now the second week of August, nearly the third week, and I thought I would have been, you know, up and running by now. It's taken a lot longer than I thought. I'm so happy with those last, you know, these last set of espresso cups and sauces though. It's exactly what I need. I needed stock and I needed to shoot it. I have done a couple of flat layers, a couple of photos with coffee, without coffee, and you know, I'm starting to send it. I sent it. Well, I got all my mates to the pub the other day. I was like, lads, 
seeing you for a while. I was like, bah, 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 box, box, box. And literally it was class seeing their reactions of like, what the box is, what the everything that comes into the opening and the, you know, the story behind it. And it was, it was funny, my mate, Ollie, he come around mine the other day and he was like, oh, there's, there's the box back. I thought I had a potential return. And he was like, I was like, why, why would I want the box back? He was like, well, it's just such a nice box. And I was like, Ollie, it's your box. Um, but that was nice that even that he thought was such a nice box with the seal on and everything. You'll have to wait and find out. I'll have to order it. Um, that he brought it back and he was like, do you want it? You, can you repurpose this or reuse it? I was like, Ollie, it's a box. Like, it's yours. It's fully recyclable as well. Um, but yeah, so that was, that was nice. And my other two friends, Johnny and Dan, absolutely loved them as well, which is spot on. So there's, there's cups getting sent out to special people, family's got them, and I'm literally close just to, I need a few more inspiration photos, like downright sexy, cool images. I need a shoot, I need to get the back end of the website sorted, and then I think it's, it's happening. I don't even know how to launch, I've got a little idea of how to market it in my head, but this is the one I've been thinking about for so many months, I keep on doubting it. And I'm like, shit, should I have done it months ago? But this is the way it is. I think it's going to be cooler. They always say, work in silence, let no one know, and then bam. So that's what, that's what I'm going to do. But yeah, it's going well. There's been ups and downs. Look back and have a little look at all the things that have gone wrong, things that have gone right, waiting for things. Obviously, everything's here now, but it's been such a journey, and it's been the best journey ever, ever I've ever done. I was listening to Stephen Barter today, and he was saying like how you stack, I can't remember what he was perfectly saying, like the, the term he used, but it was like basically stacking talents. And then if you've got a stack of talents, you can use all those talents. Say if you're good at maths, then you go into like something where obviously you get a little bit of money more. And then obviously it's like, oh, you go into finance, then you go into like bigger finance, then it's just like, so use those talents you have, e.g., everything I've learned and failed at in the past couple of years, when I say failed, I mean just like not got enough of, like work related to videos and sort of to taking photos and photography. And it's like all those things. For, and then something I've always loved, which is clay. I've just stack, 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 stack. And if you stack and if you do it all yourself, first of all, you save a lot of money. Second of all, you get the exact thing you want in your red. And then just, it's just happened so well. And I'm so grateful for, first of all, to know the people I know, to, have like super really really good friends or people who will do me favors and like go all right i don't need that 100 quid you can give me it when you've got it and i'm like thank god because you know what i mean even family support financially friends financially and they're all getting the money back but it's just using what you have at that time and then just getting better at it and then just keep on going no matter what happens and it's not being perfect but I know when I do post this, everyone will see it and just go, oh, he's just come up with a brand which looks really, really good. And he's just done it like that. Well, no, I haven't. And this is why there's a YouTube sort of every week or every couple of weeks to discuss the ups and the downs. Got that wrong. The ups and the downs. Two, obviously, doing this. And it is, it's, it is really, really fucking hard. And I'm lucky now because I'm not spending the money I'd have normally spent on food obviously I've got my mum and dad which is obviously pretty cushy but if I didn't I was back in you know back in the flat it was literally like I've got this money and I can only afford noodles if I buy this or clay so it was pretty bloody tough for months and months and months um, but yeah it's just it's hard but it's the best thing I've done ever and it's so fulfilling to give those friends that have been good to me and helped me out so much their money back and also bash there's the cup as well so it's uh, it's looking good it's all positive now but i'm still sort of it's been the as i say like the worst bit of doing that i've done bugger all for days and i hate that because it gets me down massively so i don't do anything i blame myself so that's been quite hard it's been quite hard mentally but yeah have a little look all the backtrack all the stuff Hopefully there will be a literal, like I'm hoping all these videos will have a website so you can actually go, all right, now he's actually got it. It's bloody coming soon, but hopefully it's probably already out there because the time I uploaded this, it'll have happened ages ago. 
But yeah, thanks for checking in. Thanks for following. Thanks for seeing the journey. If you've not seen the journey, go back, have a little look at them, see where I literally first started without a wheel, without any sort of knowledge. And I think I've actually come quite a long way in January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. Eight months. Bang. Thanks, and I'll see you in a bit. Also, I've got, I've got no phone, and I've come down here, and I've literally got no way of getting home, so I'm, I'll have to walk to then get the car, which is going to be a nightmare. Anyway, cheers. See you in a bit.